Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and are committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. One, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. It's noon in Kingwood on Saturday, Farmer's Day at the Buckwheat Festival and the parade coming up soon. Melissa and Peggy are right by the Price Street intersection, almost the best seats in the house to watch the parade and bring you all the details. So let's go down to the street right now. It's the 78th Preston County Buckwheat Festival with Melissa Smith and Peggy Cochran. Thanks for joining. And first and foremost, we'd like to thank our major sponsors for the day. Preston Memorial Hospital, part of the Mon Health System, and Stone Paving. Thank you, Richie Stone. Thanks to both of you for bringing this beautiful telecast to the public of Preston County and those beyond Preston County. We'd also like to thank um, our associate sponsors, Delano's of Route 7 in Reedsville. Rainbow Tire, the Tire Lady in Mason Town and Morgantown locations, of course. Browns Mill Groceries, located at Route 7 or Route 92 in Dogtown Road. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve Biggins. And of course, again, the Preston Family Pharmacy, uh, Route 7, right across from uh, Walmart. Thank you, Eric Valdina. And. Uh, and our special thanks to Nelson Corbin for the lift that uh, accompanies the uh, special shots that we're going to show you during today's telecast. Mm -hmm. And one last thank you to Air One Shots provided by Preston Family Pharmacy across from Walmart. That would be Eric Valdina. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I have to agree. We do have 
premium seats right here at the corner of Route 7 and Price Street. Uh, however, I don't know, Rick Walker may have the best seats up there on that lift because he gets that aerial view shot right down Price Street, sees everything coming. But um, we really appreciate you joining us today for the 78th Annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival. Theme is a treasure trove of sights and sounds. And we did see a lot of pirate ships yesterday. Arg. Arg. Uh, well, we have one special thing starting today. I don't know if they'll all wear their pirate patches, but tell us a little bit about what our first event is today, Melissa. Oh, well, we have the um, run. I believe it's a 5K run, the I buckwheat think. Buckwheat run. Buckwheat run. And, uh, you know, I used to be, uh, we used to sponsor that, West Virginia Caring uh, sponsored that for many many years and thank goodness when we did not the buckwheat festival picked it up again and uh, it's very exciting for these runners uh, when they come through number one to not be running in the rain so <laughs> we're glad it stopped but also uh, to be running along this parade route can you imagine you're even for the adults but eight, eight year old here in Preston County running down this route with people cheering them on what a thrill Yes, it, uh, it, it's, it's become such a more of a family-oriented mm -hmm. event than it has been for just, say, like the high school track team. Right, right. For people that run all the time, instead, it has become an, um, an event that, like you said, even the amateur could uh, even walk through it yep, and still be okay. So. So we'll be looking for that to start just shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, we do have a list of winna winna chicken dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're not going to kill any chickens today, so no, we're not going to do we, that. We have so much livestock oh, that's going to pass us today, and they go by so quick that it's so hard to catch them all. So. And today is the uh, annual Farmers Day parade. That is what we are looking at today. So you're going to see plenty of livestock. And uh, let's go over some of the winners from the um, extension office. The master goat showman was Alexi Leonard. Also, the grand champion market goat was Alexi Leonard. And the reserve grand champion market goat was Heather Hayes. Grand champion county bred market goat was Heather Hayes. Reserve grand champion county bred market goat, Mackenzie Motes. Master sheep showman, Alex Burns. Grand Champion Market Lamb, Bryce Bischoff. Reserve Grand Champion Market Lamb, Whitney Pomeroy. Grand Champion County Bread Market Lamb, Whitney Pomeroy. Reserve Grand Champion Bread Market Lamb, Haley Volk. Master Beef Showman, Grand Champion Market Steer, Natalie Phillips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Master Beef Showman was Natalie Phillips as well. Reserve Grand Champion Market Steer, Madison Rosenberger. Grand Champion County Bread Market Steer, Madison Rosenberger. Reserve Grand Champion County Bread Market Steer, Evan Young. Master Swine Showman, Brenna Bischoff. Grand Champion Market Swine, Brett Barker. Reserve Grand Champion Market Swine, Brett Barker. Grand Champion County Bread Market Swine, Ella White. And Reserve Grand Champion County Bread Market Swine, Abigail Spade. And I think we saw some of those uh, Market Swines going by a little bit earlier. Getting in their lineup. Getting in their lineup. Uh, the trailers all heading down. And uh, kids very excited to be able to show off as we what talk they've about worked. what they've done for yeah. an entire year. They have worked on these. We'll try to mention as many as we can as Absolutely. they go by. but. Congratulations, our hats off to all of them for such hard work and dedication. In case you had your score pads out during the week or during your YouTube um, coverage of our parades, Thursday night band winners were Morgantown High School, Philip Barber High School, Jefferson Morgan Rocket Band, and Bealington Middle School. Excellent, congratulations to them and Friday the winners were Lewis County High School, East Hardy High School, and Margaret Bell Miller, Miller Middle School out of Waynesburg, PA. Float winners for yesterday's school day parade. First place in the first category was the Cougar Football, West Preston Cougar Football. First place 
Uh, in the other, in another category yeah, was Division the, Two. Okay. Have, yeah. Uh, thank you for making that a little clearer for me. Um, Good Neighbors Day float from Bruce and Brandonville, and in category three, Pine Ridge. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for your hard work. You know, we commented yesterday, Peggy, on some of those floats that those, because I said we used to just ride in the back of a pickup through the parade and wave, and now you have these teams and they're i'm assuming their parents working on these beautiful floats creating giant footballs and baseballs and very they were very impressive so it's nice to see uh, some of them recognized uh for their categories so congratulations to all of them well melissa as we get a little bit closer to our final event for the year once again mm -hmm. um it's I'll, I may as well say it now. It's a, always a pleasure working with you, and I thank you so much for volunteering your time and helping us out. And Preston County, we love you all, and we hope you enjoy this year's Buckwheat Festival telecast. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Peggy. It's always nice to be with the uh, commentating uh, queen, as I call you. So nobody does color commentary on a parade better than you, that's for sure. Well, how about we take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with the start of the show. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. The Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital is an alternative for acute patients who need a little extra help before returning home. Services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy, patient and family education, personal care assistance, individualized care plans with daily activities, and 24-hour nursing care. Our team works to ensure a smooth return to independent living. For more information on the Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital, visit us online or call 304-791-3733. All right, and here come the Buckwheat Runners. How about that? Full speed ahead. Of course, you have those that are out for a the win. Victory. A victory. And then you have, of course, oh my gosh, all those teenagers, look at them. Those that are out there for a yeah. victory with just finishing the event. That's right. A, a finish is a victory, Peggy. Good point. My goodness, this is a lot of runners. Wow. Do we usually have that many? It seems like there's a, a, some extras today. We still have more coming. That's true. And you know what? It seems the, the conditions are probably really good for them today. A little overcast right now. My goodness. You've got kids coming up that as you can see as they make the turn there that are and our shot from uh, air one provided by preston family pharmacy we of the buckwheat run daddy's pushing car uh buggies uh, oh my goodness strollers strollers the there oh Sorry. my gosh claire there in the back coming down yeah look at that what a great shot thank you again eric baldina and preston family pharmacy Air One, providing those shots. And as you can see, as you make the turn there, you have the little girl that you have probably seven or eight year olds, along with, I won't guess how old the oldest are, Mike. This lady is actually carrying someone through the run. I'm not sure. I mean, that's not a little tiny one either. She is not. Wow. Like you said, this is a gen generational event now, as you can see. Moms and their kids, dads and their kids. Who knows, maybe a grandpa even. Could be a family challenge going on there somewhere. I don't know. Absolutely. Was well, the parade heads towards us, Peggy? We might want to mention the the, uh, the real winners, the, the big the, winners. The real winners the big are winner. weekend celebrities. Weekend, it, it is, weekend celebrity. Our uh, queen, of course, will be in the parade today, Madeline Warnick. 
Um, congratulations to her. She's done a great job. She's the daughter of Kimberly George and Michael Warnick of Kingwood. And uh, obviously a student at Preston High School. And as we mentioned yesterday, Madeline, this is no, uh, she's no... Uh, this is not her first she's Buckwheat not, Rodeo. Yeah, this is not her Buckwheat Rodeo. She was in the uh, junior court. She was a flower girl, and congratulations to her. She's done a great job this weekend, and the culmination today of her reign. And then that we would have Hunter Wade Thomas, the son of Greg and Crystal Thomas of Brewston Mills. Family has been farming in Preston County for many generations. On his family farm, they raise cattle, hogs, and poultry. In addition, they have crop farming business, growing and harvesting 1,600 acres of coin, corn, soybeans, oats, and buckwheat, as well as 200 acres of hay. Hunter Thomas, congratulations to both of you, and we wish you the best in your future. That's a junior ROTC from Preston High, makes the turn. The wind is strong and blowing around the flags. And now you're looking at the chapter 977, Vietnam Veterans of America. The Welcome Home Brother Color Guard and decorated wagon with members. Preston County Chapter, Peggy, um, has over 100 life members serving all veterans and our local communities. They sponsor two scholarships for Preston High graduating seniors. They are very heavily involved in their community. They su support Food for Preston programs and uh, participate in the Angel Tree program and provide Christmas food boxes for veterans and contribute to community action efforts to help homeless veterans. Great to see them out today. We have our state policemen down here showing our their uh, talents. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be doing that. No, but the kids love it. We have one of the uh, motorcycles doing some maneuvers here. That's why I said we have some state policemen showing us some of their talents today. <laughs> Pop her up on there without a helmet and take her a spin around oh the block. Oh my goodness. I don't believe I've seen a state police motorcycle unit recently. There's some good looking machinery. State police well represented here today. This is their motorcycle group. You know, that's not the size of the Shriner uh, mm -mm. No, vehicles. It's not Those are full, little mini bikes. full size motorcycles doing maneuvers, so that's great. Getting a good response from the crowd. They're handing out, I think, some stickers and things to kids, so. And of course, the Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department. <laughs> that makes all this possible. Good to see them. That is Tower Five. five. And this gentleman is very, very happy mm -hmm. to... David P. Brown, General Chairman with his wife of 39 years, the former Sheila Britton of Rollsburg. They have two daughters, Ashley 
and his her husband Rob and daughter Stella and Mackenzie Jones and husband Ben. They've done a great job. Yep. They He'll be thankful when today's finished and tomorrow it will just be a short day for him. Absolutely. Graduate from WVU and coming behind him is the assistant general chairman, Buddy Turner with his wife, Tina. He's also a native, Buddy is also a native of uh, Preston County, a high school graduate here in 1992. And he served as an escort for the 1991 50th Buckwheat Festival. How about that? Main Street in Kingwood. Farmers Day Honorary Parade Marshal Tom McConnell, Farmers Day Chairman Charles Hayes, Assistant Farmers Day Chairman Robert Varner, and many other family members. Absolutely. Main Street Kingwood is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the revitalization and economic development of Kingwood. Good to see them here today, of course. And there he is the man of the hour. And our beautiful children's court, Hunter Thomas, congratulations. My goodness. They must send him to classes for that to learn how to wave. Look at that. Turning the light bulb, turning the light bulb, turning the light bulb. Might be a floodlight, that's a big one. I have a few of those light bulbs. I might need to get him to come to my house if I can't get my husband on it pretty soon. There you go. Just joking. And we're followed by today, a little different lineup, the junior princesses senior. with their float. This is the seniors. Senior, seniors. Beautiful in their emerald green gowns. Lydia, Tori, Kerrigan, Jenna, Caitlin, Emily, Macy, and Marianne. And here come the junior princesses. I see here on the front, Avery Colebank. I had the pleasure to talk to her yesterday down on the grounds. She's waving big there at us. She said she was just having a great time being part of the Buckwheat Festival event and uh, just such a special honor, she said. She's from Aurora and the daughter of Aaron and Carrie Colebank, who I also spoke to her father. So proud to have their, what a great group of girls. You have also Caitlin, Brenna, Jocelyn, Margot, Rosalind, Allie, Alana, Marley, Peyton, Avery, Lexi, Emily, and Taryn Veltry. Great job this year, girls, representing Preston County and all your local schools. There she is. Not Miss America, but Miss Preston County. That's Miss America of Preston County. That's exactly right. Madeline Sophia Warnick. Our 78. Now, I don't know if you have ever experienced seeing Madeline's mother take pictures at the Buckley Festival pageant. No. She has oh, some you know awesome what? pictures really? of all the people. I can't even imagine what her albums are like now. Wow. That her daughter is the queen. What a special time. What, it's a proud moment for her. The Connellsville area senior high school marching band. They're the Falcons from Connellsville, Pennsylvania. Round trip travels are 120 miles. Packing 93 students in here today under the director's direction of Jonathan Yusey. Falcons. 
year, last year's Division II champion from this exact parade, Farmer's Day Parade. And I can see why. Good looking man, sharp, with plumes, my favorite. Taking the full street to make their turn. They did. It's interesting looking at these different approaches. Followed by a substantial amount of parents. The roadies? The roadies of every high school band. And good luck to them today on their chances of winning again in a repeat. Could be a three-peat. Joe R. Pyle, auctioneer and realty services. Your hometown auctioneer for over 35 years, Joe R. Pyle has been the Tri-State's most respected name in auction services. And you and I have talked many times about riding in that rocket that he's pulling there, Peggy. Yeah, we have. We have. We, that's you know, still on our bucket list. It still is on our bucket list. I would enjoy that. Maybe we get wireless mics and travel with them next year and ride through the parade. I do see their signs everywhere, I must admit. And here comes, with cannons blazing, the Pine Ridge float. Pine Ridge is located right here in Preston County. It's a 120 bed short and long term care facility and whose goal is to help people feel stronger and healthier and enjoy the fullness of their lives. They have embraced this year's theme, a treasure trove. See if they can't add another win. Yes. Today. There you go. They won yesterday. Thank you for remembering that. And here comes West Virginia Caring with some good looking kids on the back. Eric Smith on the front. And uh, Ruby and Garen and Kendall on the back there. West Virginia Caring is your local hospice. Been here for over 36 years. Dedicated to serving individuals and their families. Um, whether they can pay or not. They are the only nonprofit hospice serving Preston County and they serve 12 counties in West Virginia since 1983. Again, employees and their children and volunteers riding the float today. And they received third place yesterday in the parade, so good luck to them today as well. The All-Star Twirlets. Baton twirling group made up of, of four to 14 year olds from Mon and Preston County. They are always a staple here during the parade. Every year I see them. We have a little uh, excited fella next to every girl, but he likes the music. The so music's much. a little loud for him. The wind is brisk today here in downtown Kingwood. The West Virginia Three Rivers Festival is a family-oriented festival providing free entertainment for all ages. Out of Fairmont, West Virginia, the West Virginia Three Rivers Festival. Their float is displaying a uh, waterfall that represents the Three Rivers that you just mentioned. Their queen is Dominique Collins. The teen queen is Sophia Martino. Junior teen, Miss Gabrielle Chico. Junior Miss Anna, Anna Hoffman. Hoffman. And Little Miss Josie Bailey. And the Good Neighbor Days, Brewston Brandonville Volunteer Fire Department. They hold their Good Neighbor Days, which is a three day festival that honors a good neighbor as well as selecting. They're king and queen. 
The Queens, Sahara Bel Belanger, Maid of Honor, Brianna Smith, Queens Court, Keely Gregory, and Haley Rosenberger. Kingwood Southern Baptist Church. That's right here in Kingwood on the outskirts. You probably passed it on Route 7 on your way in. Providing meaningful worship experience for all generations. Glad to have them here today. Now focusing, really focusing on this next unit, we want to thank you. Our hats are off to every one of you. Mon Health Preston Memorial Hospital. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's telecast. Today the riders are PMH administrators and staff. Good to have them out on a Saturday showing their community support. And next, coming up behind them is Insurance Centers. Been in business for over 60 years and began in Preston County over in Brewston Mills. The Insurance Centers was founded in 1958. Wow. And here we have the Preston County Chamber of Commerce. They're enjoying the sounds of tequila. Hopefully not enjoying the taste of it during the parade. We want to keep it safe. They were the nonprofit of the year this year in Kingwood. The city of Kingwood. So awarded by the Preston County Chamber of Commerce. Good to see them. Mon County Fair Junior Miss is Bailey Tackett and the Little Mister is Peyton Tackett. Thank you for coming. I love that crown on that king. That is adorable. Mount Vernon Climbers 4-H Club to make the best better. For each, member, for each members and their leaders are riding on traditional hay bales. It is Farmer's Day Parade after all. And yesterday we got a kick out of this, the Preston High School Animal Processing. They actually, the students that you see actually take a course to teach them the fundamentals of meat cutting, preparation, and processing. And they as a fund, they, to raise funds, they harvest beef, hog, and lamb. So, you know, it's the end of the season, Peggy. Get your lambs up there, and we'll all enjoy some nice mutton. The first Christian apostolic church out of Tunnelton is this float. They are pastored by Ray Frankhauser. Have services Sunday at 10 and 6 and Thursday. I almost stopped at Robert's Family Convenience Store and bought us some boiled peanuts today. Oh my goodness. I was just a little scared by the traffic there. They, you could not even get off the road. They had so much action going over there. Frank Roberts and Savannah, Don, Frankie, their family, they just do a great job. And it's good to see them. Also, they run Roberts Towing for, in Preston County. So they tow for the 911 center if you're ever in an accident. Valley High School Lumberjacks from Pine Grove, West Virginia. Traveling round trip 152 miles. Thank you so much for attending today. I'm the director of Rachel Krems. Elizabeth Conley is their field drum major. Miss West Virginia, outstanding teen, Lauren Rose. As you see, that great aerial shot by Air One provided by Preston Family Pharmacy. Followed by Bella! Junior Miss Spirit of Grafton coming up behind her. Not to yell in my mic. But I, I know. Had to yell at her. And 
There she is. One of the sweetest little girls you'll ever, ever meet. Now here we have some... Serious diesel. Yeah. And some serious farmers. Waving, looking cute as can be. Some of them God look kind of tuckered out. I bet they are. They've been down there night and day, night and day, taking care of their animals. Tonight they have to say goodbye to Oh, them. my goodness. I don't, do they sleep during the week? I don't think very many of them do. Or they, if they do, do not. not very much. It is impressive what these kids have put in to um, their exhibits, to their animals, to their displays. And rounding the corner is the uh, win some of the winners that we just mentioned a little bit ago. Madison Rosenberger, Evan Young, Nathan Wolf. Madison won two things, county bred grand champion and reserve champion. Congratulations to her. Julia Phillips, Kristen Ritchie, Tyler Pomeroy, and Natalie Phillips. Those are some good looking animals too. I'm glad they put the uh, Preston High School meat processing ahead of the animals so they yeah. didn't have to feel nervous with them coming behind them. Bryce Bischoff, Whitney Pomeroy, Hallie Volk, Alexa Leonard, Heather Hayes, Mackenzie Motes, Brady Adams, Lane Clark. All the sheep showmanship champions and the goat showmanship champions, congratulations. I see Emily Witt on the back there, my neighbor, and I will tell you, um, daily washing her sheep. That uh, They really do. I would say, you want to come up and play? And she's like, no, i got to wash my sheep. Oh. And our hog winners. Reagan Jenkins, or Jennings, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Brett Barker. Abigail Spade, Ella White. Brenna, Brenna Bischoff. Bischoff, Evan Young. Lots of hours. Lots of hours, congratulations to all those winners. few more. Alexi Leonard oh, with I her like Grand Trapian. Right oh my gosh. It's that cute. looks like a stuffed animal. Reserve champion breeding goats. Allie Wilson. And uh, look at that. He That looks like a stuffed animal. That is adorable. And I think the winners on the back are from the lamb dressing, dressing contest. contest. I happened to be going through the uh, cow barn yesterday, and I had to go around them. It was just starting, and Sybil I saw... Sybil Taylor was there with those kids. Oh, my goodness. I saw those pirate costumes, and uh, it took me a second, but I finally connected it. There's Kevin Stone, uh, and that is an older track. That is. That is a... Let me see if I can identify it by sight. Oh, yes, I recognize that. That's a 1958 John Deere, Peggy. A 420. Ah, you beat me to it. <laughs> He's pulling the Lennox Loyal Workers 4-H Club. Wow, this is another. Lots of good looking tractors today. And this is the West Virginia Medicine, West Preston Primary Care. Dr. Jason Statler, Jennifer Turner, Mackenzie Clarkson, and Dr. Cynthia Clarkson. 
They are uh, the assistant vice president, the primary care physicians at the West Preston Primary Care right here on Route 7. Same day appointments now available. Mm -hmm. University High School FFA chapter joins us today. Of course, Future Farmers of America. Their youth organization changes lives and prepares members for premier leadership, personal growth, and career. Success through continual education. Great for them to make the trip up today from that's, Morgantown. That's pretty cool, another FFA group from another county and other school comes and supports us. And embracing our uh, theme with a treasure trove of FFA pri pirates. <laughs> they say on their slip that their bounty is agri agricultural resources. <laughs> Miss Valley that. District float here. Um, go ahead and run down all of those if you want, Melissa. Sure. Miss Valley District Allison Warner, Miss Valley District Mrs. Kathy Staten, Miss Valley District Junior Miss Natalie Mama, Miss Valley Mini Miss Consuela Albright, and Baby Miss Hazley Matheny. Congratulations. Of course, the uh, Valley District Royalty is sponsored by the Reedsville Volunteer Fire Department and the Valley District Fair. Now we're going to crank it up a little bit with the Upshur County Baton Corps. That sun hits those uniforms and the sparkle just, just about blinds me. Beautiful. Good job. How about that? Baton twirlers getting sprayed down. Getting I love it. Little drink Keeping in the them mouth. hydrated. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only are they marching through, they're actively doing a baton routine. I would get tired as well. Shots, and this parade is sponsored by our major sponsors, Preston Memorial Hospital, Mon Health Systems, and Stone Paving. Thank you to Richie Street, Stone. Richie Stone. <laughs> Richie Street, when I know him, but he's not part of that. Stone Paving, thank you, Richie Stone. And here comes the Kingwood Lions Club, Peggy. Got some cheerleaders on the front by there. They were chartered in 1948 and Rollsburg was their sponsoring club 71 years ago. Which, of course, Lions, that makes sense. Used to be the River Lions. Students from Central Preston Middle School you see there on the front. Cheerleaders. Their, eye, their focus right now is assisting folks with eye care. That's why you see the eye chart there in the front. And here's our city of Kingwood. Parks and Recreation Summer Camp provides an opportunity for children in Preston County to uh, have fun with other children from around the county and to experience new adventures each week during the six week camp. Some of their attendees there Uh, 
the Preston County Shrine Club. I did not know that we had our own now. I did not either. Oh my goodness. They are out of Tunnelton, West Virginia. There's another good looking vehicle that we could have drove through. We wouldn't have even had to put makeup on to ride on that one. Oh my goodness. There's the Oligon Shrine Club out of Cumberland, Maryland. Their cart, the you can see the uh, bubbles are flying. Based on fun fellowship and the Masonic principles. And that looks like a familiar vehicle right here. Does it not? Oh, it does. Oh, my goodness. I, I, you mean familiar like not I've spent a lot of time in a police car, right? You just no, mean. No, <laughs> like it looks like the tire lady's car. It is, isn't it? That's the Taylor C County Clown. I feel like I'm on the Lawrence Welk show. Do you remember that? Tiny Bubbles? Look, Look at the at aerial. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You really need that when the Shriners come through to get the perspective of how many there are and how active they are. My goodness. This is a different court, the Daffy Dolls. Daffy Dolls. Out of Wheeling. Of course. Now those cards are cool. Look at that. He's even got protection wheels in case he does wheelies on the back. I love that. And the Mountaineer Patrol, of course, out of Morgantown, West Virginia, making the turn, as you see from the top in the red car, getting ready to head down really the longest stretch of our parade here in Kingwood. Goes clear down to the end at Route 7 before making the turn. These guys just make me speechless. They're just so entertaining. Oh, my goodness. Firing off their rockets. Again, thanks to Air One Shots provided by Preston Family Pharmacy. Oh, here comes Cotton Candy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, here comes Honeysuckle. Ah! <laughs> we got squirted. Oh, my goodness. Honeysuckle, of course, the uh, famous skunk making an appearance every year in the parade. And let me assure you, we just got squirted over here. There it is. I uh, hope the camera doesn't get squirted too. And making the turn today with no riders, but the West Virginia Northern Rail Trail. You know why? Because they are all running today. That's why. Thank you. And next you see... making the turn in a punch buggy. Glad my daughter's not here to hit me. Evelyn Auville, the Preston County Senior Citizens County Bell. Oh, that is, I love the bonnet and the apron. Oh my goodness, how charming. She's so cute. She's so cute. And our Monongalia County Fair team, Kendra Stewart is behind her. The Monongahela County Fair was held at Milan Park in Morgantown the first week of August. And Kendra is a sophomore at Clay Battelle High School. She's involved in the Young Life Student Council, Photography Club, Prom Committee, and received an OVAC All-Conference Academic Award and was a member of the 2018 Class A Regional Cheer Champions. 
the 2019 Teen Queen was Gara Lindsay in the back of the pickup there. And you can maybe hear some the waftings of the music stylings of the Riggins brothers floating in there. You're doing a great job, Melissa, as I sit here sampling yes. um, some maple If you're candy. wondering why I'm doing so much talking, it's because Peggy Cochran is enjoying some maple cotton candy right now. <laughs> it's How really is it? good. Is it's it? It's really good. Maple flavored. That's interesting. And... The Kingwood Rotary has some uh, livestock of their own mm -hmm. on the front of their float. Because the Riggins brothers entertaining the crowd. The pig and the cow. Masters. The pig and the cow fighting it out there on top of the rotary <laughs> float. And the ridge, ridge ply rafters. Those are some big things. Autumn Glory Royal Court. Sam Kennedy is the king. And Cheyenne Record the queen. You know, that Ridgely Rafters was a family owned business since 1954. Rich, Richland, PA, in Oakland, Maryland. And lots of kings and queens in here today. Mountain State Properties has a group of fine looking young men and women. Missy Hartzell is the owner and the broker. She encouraged you to choose the right path for your real estate needs. We live, work, and play in Preston County. There's our Danny's newfound friend, Danny. Lost Creek Bicycle Man with his rig. He's pulling two long trailers, you see, with his other bicycles displayed. We had the pleasure of meeting this young man this morning. Daniel Frazier. Great. And, of course, there's the FFA of Preston County. That one of his bikes, the second bike, has drifted down Bridgeport Hill in a snowstorm. 58 mile per hour drifting speed. How about that? Wow. The Lost Creek Bicycle Man. And making the turn is the Preston County Antique Tractor and Machinery Association. enjoy some sights of the tractors while well, we have enjoy some well, taste enjoy of some the maple cotton maple candy. Candy. it is really good mm -hmm. this is the Preston County Antique Tractor and Machinery Association they began in 2005 trying to bring back memories of the older people and educate the younger generation to the way the farm farming used to used be, to be. They have as many, sometimes as 15 tractors in here. We'll just let you enjoy this and... It's good. It is good. Now if we see someone coming by selling cold water. We'd have a perfect, perfect time out here. Enjoying cotton candy, tractors on Farmer's Day. No rain. No rain, a nice breeze. And I see coming down the street there, a, uh, almost to the turn, a special guest. Mm-hmm.
It's Santa. <laughs> and there's not too many more shopping Saturdays before he actually. I've makes already his started. Oh. I'm proud of myself. I've already started. Now I found I'm I'm ahead of the game because um, around July I found a lot of presents that I'd hid that I forgot that I'd hid and didn't get out. <laughs> so I'm just rolling them over to this year. Ho ho ho! Who's being pulled by that farm all? It's Santa and his elves. Appreciate him making the trip down from the North Pole to enjoy the Buckwheat Festival. He may be on his way back from the Caribbean. He may be on his way back home. You're right. He does look a his, little tan. His and shirt he, looks uh, a little... It is a little uh, flowery. Maybe on his uh, summer sabbatical. Now he's on his way back. And making the turn in front of us, you see Michael Schaefer and the Central Preston Middle School Band. Michael also does the organization for all the bands during this week and makes sure to get us all the information about who's marching and where. And We appreciate all his hard work and down in the information booth and all the places. This is under the drum major direction of Alana Wilson. Wildcats. Now those plumes are really full. Yeah, those are good ones. They are playing in Hat Beach and Stonehenge Reverture. Great shot from Air One there. As they make the turn. They have a great cleanup crew for the Sandy Creek Belgians. Clean up in the left lane. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they are out of Evansville, West Virginia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there is a cleanup crew, let me just say. And they were needed. I hope that's not her car. Oh, my goodness. I don't care if there is a bucket back there. Look at that. What a great group of equestrian skill on display here. Look at that. They are available, by the way, for weddings, funerals, parades, senior citizens, school children, whatever you would like to uh, and can think of. They are your group. Just pick it up, honey. They were driven by Delmer Hirschman. Those were I, those are some beautiful animals, and uh, you're looking now at the uh, cleanup crew for the Sandy Creek Belgians. She just Belgians. got a round of applause. She got a round of applause. She's working hard, keeping it clean. And while she's doing so, let's just take a moment to thank some of our associate sponsors as well today, Peggy. That we've had. To Located on Route Seven, we have Delano's and Rainbow Tire. Thank you, Tire Lady. Browns Mill Grocery, Route 92, Arthurdale. Steve Biggins, one of my favorite lunch spots. Preston and Family Pharmacy on Route 7. Thank you, Eric Baldina. And thanks again to Nelson Corbin, helping to provide uh, the lift that provides some of these great shots down Price Street. We sure appreciate it. So many people uh, joining with us to make today possible. Thank you to uh, Peggy Cochran for the supply of the sugar high. <laughs> Cotton candy. Maple flavor. That cotton candy came from New Creek, from the Indian Water Maple Company. I bet they make syrup and stuff too. How much you want to bet? 
I bet they branched. I start. I bet they started with syrup and branched out to make. Figured, hey, we can make more sugar products. Maple candy. Maple candy. We're enjoying our <laughs> buckwheat festival. You can't have it without cotton candy, candy apples. Peggy and I were already discussing ahead where we're going to go eat next. Enjoyed yesterday some buckwheat cakes, chicken dinners from the fire department, just delicious. There's one of our sponsors and going by, Brown's Mill. And they are on the Cornerstone Community Church is riding on their great truck with a double trailer. They are a non-denominational church in Kingwood, pastored by Chris Baker. They've all got their pirate gear on. They do. Everybody has embraced this theme. It's a fun theme. Treasure trove. That's good. And the uh, Rob Eckenrode and Amy Matheny represent the Chestnut Festival. Chestnut Festival is coming up in a couple weeks in, mm -hmm. in October 13th in Roseburg. Promotes the American Chestnut Restoration. Riding in the car, as you said, are some of the winners, Mr. and Mrs. Chestnut. I have to go down to Rollsburg October 13th and enjoy chestnuts roasting on, on an open, open fire. fire. I think there's also ac other activities in the park. wonder if they have the chestnut cotton candy. I think we should suggest it. <laughs> Let's try it. Chestnut coffee. Chestnut cotton candy. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Can't do better than that. That's great. As I continue to stuff my face with this <laughs> delicious we maple cotton We worked our way from candy. one bag. We may start on the second soon. We're, 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 we're trying to one make one more little dab. One more little dab and we've did it. So, did you see the chestnut crew working their way through there? As soon as we got down on the fairgrounds yesterday, first thing I bought was a can caramel apple. Second thing I bought was a bag of cotton candy. I had four of the grandkids with me. I said, okay, come on guys, come over here with Mimi. You can have a bite, you can have a bite. Here, grab a handful of cotton candy. And then we just happily sent them on their way about oh nine o'clock last night. It's funny, because that's what you're gonna do to me today. Mm -hmm. Feed me up send with cotton you back candy to and send me back with Ruby. where I'm somebody else's problem today. We have some appointed royalty here for Miss Preston County. We have Jordan Nicole. G Liera Rivera, Cooley Helms, Hannah Braham, Raylan Rivera, Clara Schaefer, and I believe Aubrey Schaefer. Congratulations, girls. Wow. G and J truck and making the turn behind them you can see the Sunrise Sanitation Services in business for 42 years serving Preston Tucker Randolph Mineral Grant Pendleton got an idea tell me if we make this announcement now it'll be public they'll know ahead of time before next year okay the first person that brings us an ice-cold bottle of water <laughs> to next year's <laughs> Friday school day parade. Okay. What do they get? We'll figure, well, it's, it'll be a surprise. All right, all right. But maybe they'll, get, a, they'll get something. Maybe an on-air cameo. Yeah, maybe. We can, we can let can them help announce can like help the opening. our sponsor or something. Absolutely. I love it. So the messaging here is uh, we can be bought. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> Cheap. A bottle of water. My goodness. We'll see how the first year goes. Then we'll up the ante for number two, if there is. Oh, the Tucker County Fair Queen is here out of Parsons, West Virginia. Tucker County Fair Queen Daphne is Shelby Beavers. Tucker County Fair Queen, Fair Teen Queen is Lainey Burns. The Junior Queen is Riley Russell. 
Congratulations, girls, and thank you for coming. Look at them, how cute, next to the tractor. Four H and FFA, of course, helping sponsor them. Your chariot awaits, Melissa. <sighs> From the Preston County Lady of Agriculture, 2019. Sponsored by the Preston County Future Farmers of America Alumni Association. The 2019, coming up behind the Tucker County float, of course. Slow down a little bit there. Must be the cleanup crew that we saw earlier behind my, my the Belgians. Look at that beautiful shot. Thank you, Rick, for that. Marianne Wolf is the lady of agriculture with her runners up. Haley Schaefer and Caitlin Miller. Congratulations, girls. Now that's a fun way to ride through mm -hmm. a parade. How about that? What a beautiful carriage as well. My goodness, and a beautiful horse. That's a big horse. He's taller than the carriage. Coming from the Parkersburg Homecoming Festival is the teen queen, Allie Spiker for 2019 daughter of Tim and Debbie Spiker of Morgantown and is the granddaughter of Fern Spiker of Kingwood. Sophomore honor student at University High School where she's also a member of Student Council and the Key Club. She's a WVU Hospital Junior Volunteer and was recognized as the August Top Performer. She is also an Alzheimer Association and Walk to End Alzheimer's Volunteer. Cycle Fusion Junior Ambassador, Queen's Choice Ambassador, and a member of Suncrest United Methodist Church. Thank you, Allie, for coming to the Preston County Buckwheat Festival. That is a well-rounded girl. My goodness. Adeline Hicks is the Mon County Fair Little Miss. How what adorable. a cutie. Oh my goodness. Do you think I could pull off a skirt like that? Sure. <laughs> and here comes the Preston County Animal Shelter. Spaying and neutering saves lives. I have been down there many times um, with people adopting and uh, visiting down there and they do a great job. I can't tell if the air is blowing past my mic. Kind of gives me that sound of thunder in the background. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. We're not breathing heavy. It's the wind. Rounding the corner, another pirate ship. Paul Berger is who we're listening to on this Preston uh, Memorial Home Care float. Dressed in his pirate garb, embracing. Paul is also an accomplished uh, pottery person. I've bought pieces by him before. And here we have, making the turn, following that pirate ship, Miss Barber County, 2019. Jenna Swucker. She is the 44th annual Barber County Fair Queen. And it's a series of fair queens right now. Riley Loudermilk. Coming up next, Garrett County Farm Queen. There she is. Now, that's a pickup, but that is a very well-decorated pickup. Oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that. That has, that's beautiful. It, 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 they've made a float out of their pickup. Yes. And the Shield Roofing Siding and Gutter Company. 
It's like we had some fire going on here. My goodness. This is going to be a hot one. I got to talk to Kim Riley and get her to get out her old fire baton. I like to twirl it once in a while. She accuses me of singeing my hair, though, every time. So the studio for the performing arts is not going to be singeing anybody today. They look quite professional. It's a nonprofit 501c3 dedicated to making quality arts education available to everyone. They have the coolest thing now for fire batons. It's no longer like you have to like roll them on the ground and then stick them in that tube. There's this little box that when you're done with it, you just put it in the box and close it. And, it's, and it just it's, sucks all the yeah, air out gone. and it can't. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, they look great. I'm impressed by these fire batons today. You know, this group has marched in the Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington, D.C. And the Pittsburgh St. Patty's Day Parade. So they know are what they're a doing. group they're that gets around. Experience. And they won, uh, in Pittsburgh, they won Best Small Baton Group in 2018, last year. Yay for them. And? Profiting Preston Kingwood Christian Fellowship. Yeah. Snyder towing. Melissa. I know. You know what I'm thinking. No, I'm not talking about it yet. We're still talking about Snyder. Don't even say it. We still have two other entries. I'm getting teary eyed. I am too. Snyder Towing is located in Route 7 west of Kingwood. They specialize in towing recovery and lockout services. No, oh, somebody's I can't believe not it. Happy. Somebody is yes. It hurts Phoebe. I can't believe it. Today has flown by. Seriously, it really did. You can see on your screen there, Preston is coming, which will be the end of our parade. Joseph Robertson and Cassidy Myers are representing the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. In a strawberry colored truck. You can see following behind them. And the teen queen is Gracie Marsh. Um, <sighs> might have to get Snyder's towing back here. I know. I haven't been to the Strawberry Festival in a while. I'm going to have to make a trip. I've always enjoyed going there. Queen Gracie. And here they come. The pride of Preston County. What they're all waiting on. It's what everybody's been waiting on. The Preston High School Marching Band under the direction of Deborah Westbrook and Shauna Bloom, the assistant director with field major, drum major Heidi Gidley. The Preston High Knights. And they are playing hard to handle. They were playing hard to handle, and you know what's hard to handle? The it's Buckwheat yeah. it's the <laughs> Buck Festival Parade's ending. That is hard to handle. I think I'd be good for another two or three days. <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> My eyeballs. My eyeballs. 
Oh my goodness. No, it's been a real, real treat. And uh, we have succeeded again. Successfully in some eyes and not so successful in <laughs> others. But well, we shall turn the book over to you to turn over to the owner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Appreciate Leroy King. like to mention him uh, doing a great job with, every year with preparing now the Buckwheat Festival book with us and getting it to us with all the entries and best he can, of course. And uh, appreciate all his hard work. He's uh, serving buckwheat cakes and doing everything else, too. So and thank you to the Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department for all their hard work this weekend. Well, now as Price Street uh, and Main Street hurry and try to beat the rush to the <laughs> fairground so they can get there and get everything started before the rest of the parade route finishes. Absolutely. Um, once again, we'd like to thank our major sponsors, Mon Health, Preston Memorial Hospital, and Richie Stone, Richie Stone Paving. Um, thank you once again, and we sure would, would like to welcome you back again next year. Absolutely. Look at that great aerial shot provided by Eric Beldina and his pharmacies, Preston to, Family Pharmacy. To the whole crew, thank you all for uh, assisting us again this year. And um, thank you, Peggy. Let's see what next year will be. What 79th? 79th. Oh my goodness. I think we can make it to 80, and then that's a wrap. I don't know. I'm telling you what. I don't know if I could uh, give up this parade. I enjoy talking to you and having time with you. And of course, as mentioned, we have the best seat in the house for the 78th annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival. So we not too much to complain about, Peggy. Oh and no. and cotton candy so and we, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we'll split that before we leave how's that that sounds good and there's uh you can see the whole fairgrounds it's just a great day here in kingwood and if you're here thank you so much for joining us from here at the intersection of price and main street this is peggy cochran and melissa smith wishing yeah. you a great day Recent studies have shown that people who complete a cardiac rehabilitation program can increase their life expectancy by up to five years. Preston Memorial Hospital's cardiac rehab team helps you begin and maintain a treatment plan that works for you. They offer education and support to make healthy lifestyle changes that fit your needs. We're here to help you live longer and enjoy life. Most insurance plans are accepted. Please contact your doctor or our cardiac rehab center at 304-329-3429. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. One, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? 
I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me.